Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Thursday, January 27th, 2022. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day, commit this day to Him, use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord, and use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about today, take some time and give God praise, because He is worthy of our praise, He is worthy of our worship, He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel of Luke. Chapter number 9, and it's verses 57 through 62. Scripture says, And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. And Jesus said unto him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. And he said to another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Jesus said unto him, Let the dead bury their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of God. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but first, but let me first go and bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. And Jesus said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. Friends, these are some tough verses here that's talking about true discipleship. And yesterday we were talking about hearing the voice of the Lord and and putting into action what we hear God telling us to do. And this verse, these verses here is kind of tightening it up a little bit because Jesus is telling us about what it takes for true discipleship. Uh, many of you that have followed Jesus for many years know the statement I'm about to make in that following Jesus is hard. It's hard work. Many people expect it to be nice and easy and a carefree life, and that's not the way it is. Jesus points it out here in verse 58 when he says that the foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. You know, sometimes following Jesus is difficult. But then also, sometimes God's calling us and and we're not really listening to what he has to say. He told somebody else in verse 59 to follow me, but the Lord said, everybody said, Lord, suffer me first to go bury my father. And he said to another, or another one also said to him in verse 61, Lord, I'll follow you, but first let me go home and bid them farewell. See, the Lord called a couple of people, and their response was, I will, but first. Friends, and when it comes to Jesus' calling and when it comes to Jesus' instruction for our lives, there is not a phrase that we can use that says, I will, but first. It means we have to go out and do what he says to do. And preach where he says to preach. And pray where he says to pray. Friends, I asked this yesterday. What is it that God God is calling you to do today? And most importantly, are you doing it? Tomorrow we're going to take a look at a, a passage from Proverbs that tells us what it's like when we're not following the instructions of God. So tune back in for that. But for right now, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you. And then share that Word with someone today. Have a blessed day. (laughs) 